Hello my friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with a figure set that I got from Macy's yesterday. It is the Sonic Prime The Grim play set, which comes with three of the, um, what do you call them, the, the Troopers? Uh, they're the Rouge, Knuckles, and uh, Sonic Troopers from The Grim. Um, yeah, that, that's literally what they're called. It also comes with both the purple and yellow shards of the, uh, the prism. Now, there was a boss cage set that came with the green shard. So technically, that means all the shards are out now. Um, but for some reason, uh, the boss cage set was never released in any store anywhere where I live. Like, I didn't see it in any of the Targets, GameStops, or Macy's. So, like... Apparently, they just kind of forgot to put that one on the shelves. Uh, yeah, I'll see if I can find a boss cage set eventually, but for now, uh, let's take a look at some cool robots. So, here are the three robots out of the packaging. Uh, for a quick size comparison, here is the original Sonic figure that came in the New York set. So, you know, they're all the same size. Everything scales properly. And, um... I, I know I just knocked uh, Grim Knuckles over, but the figures actually are pretty stable. The one that's most difficult to stand is the Rouge one because of the extra weight of her wings. Um, okay, real quick, I'm going to just uh, show off the crystal shards. These things just look like those little uh, fake crystals that you get from a uh, little gumball or prize machine. There is a pig hole at the bottom, which is compatible with any of the shard display bases that you may already have. Uh, this is the one from New York City. I believe there was also like a tree stump shaped one for boss cage maze. The yellow one actually looks pretty good on there. That could be because it's just the biggest and most impressive looking shard. Uh, we'll get back to those shards in just a minute. Uh, so let's take a quick look at the robots themselves, nice and close up. Um, yeah, like, despite being made in a much smaller scale than the 5-inch, these look really good. The details are painted in decently well, nice and sharp. Uh, nothing weak here. Uh, you got the purples and bronzes and that translucent face, which is really cool. Uh, with, um, eyes painted on in a color that, that stands out nice and good. Uh, there is a head swivel. Shoulders are on universal joints so that they can go inward and outward as well as um, rotating. Uh, and the hips are on similar joints. Uh, nothing, nothing else, but you know that's the standard articulation for a figure this size made by Jax. Uh, the wings are on a swivel as well, although I, I don't think that this is really functional articulation. It, if nothing else, it, it really mostly gets in the way. Although her wings do fold. So if you, so if you feel like when they're unfurled in flying mode, um, if they make her too clumsy on the display, you can fold them up and then she disappears. Like the wings are no wider than her actual arms. So it's uh, much easier to get her to fit on a display shelf, which is good. Um, it would be, you know, I think I see the purpose of that rotation joint back there. It's so that you can rotate the wings just enough that one of them touches the ground and serves as a sort of tripod to help the figure stand despite the extra weight. I think that's what they did that for. Still, folding wings, very cool at this size, at this size scale. The, the, uh, the Grim Knuckles also has that translucent faceplate. Uh, his eyes are painted on in like a red color. Um, it doesn't really stand out that much, but, uh, you know, like, I feel like they should have used a more vibrant red to look like the lights that come out on their heads. Uh, he does have a neck swivel too, but because of dreadlocks, it makes it really difficult to actually use it. And, uh, that's, that's the story with any Knuckles figure, isn't it? Uh, but unlike most Knuckles figures, since all the dreads are behind the arms, his ar those arms are very free to move in any direction. It's almost like, uh, Nine was was criticizing Knuckles' choice of hairstyle. <laughs> Apologies for the sudden jump cut, the phone started ringing. Um, and in addition to uh, having a more sensible hair, de a hair, hair design that doesn't get in the way of the shoulders, um, he also has fingers. Yeah, so apparently 
uh, Nine had issues with the with the kind of mitten style gloves that that Knuckles wore all the time. So he made sure that the robot version of him would have fingers. <laughs> um, I can't help but feel like these are microaggressions. Although, like, if uh, now that I'm looking at it, there is a bit of asymmetry in the way the hands are sculpted. The right hand is done up in a fist, but also looks like it has bands, like like which would make it you know, like, harder as a fist, I feel like. Because, like, um, unless, unless it's just supposed to be, like, moving plates exposing uh, different colored metals. Because, like, that's that's kind of cool. Like, and asymmetries like that really do help. And if you look real close, you can see, like, um, they, they even put in, like, red rings and stuff, like, to make sure the deco is accurate. Um, but, yeah, like, other than that, articulation is the same. Just uh, universal hips, universal shoulders... Um, yeah, and otherwise, really good looking figure. And then we have Grim Sonic, base, like basically Chaos Sonic, but, you know, a little bit heavier armored. Uh, you know, bigger feet, um, bigger things on the forearms. Uh, head swivel, um, translucent face with the white eyes. Uh, universal shoulders, which move every which way. Uh, universal hips, which move every which way. Very... You know, very good articulation for a figure this size. Um, nothing super articulated like the 5-inch ones. But, you know, everything about him. Although, this one, this has, like, more of a metal Sonic thing than the others do. Like, like this, like, this shape, that's the shape of Metal Sonic's head. And then, like, there's this thing in the middle, which is the only thing that's different. I actually have my 5-inch Chaos Sonic here, and, um... You know, like, you can kind of see the difference. Like, this is more closed here on the top. And, like, the, the shape of the of the way the top of the head goes. So, like, you know, you can really see the differences in the design. Like, when you compare the two of them side by side. You know, like, there's that thing there on the shoulder that this one doesn't have. That thing on the forearm. More heavily armored feet, you know. Just, just throwing that out there. I mean, I didn't get the 5-inch Chaos Sonic to compare, so... You know, that's the that's the comparison between between Chaos Sonic and and um, Grim Sonic that you're going to be seeing from me. All right, so there is one more thing I want to do. I know I only have four instead of five shards, but can you assemble the prism using these things? Like, can you put them together? I was always wondering what was with these mysterious holes and and on pegs on the side of the blue shard that none of the others seem to have. So let's see what I can do with this. Okay, so I realize that um, if I put the red if I put the red shard in the other peg, then they fit much more complementary. Like there's even there's even facets on the side of the yellow shard that hug into it, and they go together much better. So I think the green shard goes on that last peg that I'm missing there, and when all when all is said and done, they would hold together. And then there is a peg hole on the bottom, although when I have them together like this. They're kind of too, they're, they're too big to fit into the base that I have. I mean, they fit there, but they're not using the peg hole anymore. Um, yeah, so, and then I think, I think this is how the shard's supposed to go together. Um, it's weird because the, the yellow one actually isn't pegged into anything. It's just kind of resting up against it. And the blue one is serving as the base. Yeah, you see? But yeah, they do they do fit together this way. So yeah, one one shard short of being able to rebuild the universe. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's that's my review of the uh, Sonic Prime uh, Grim 3 pack with uh, three really cool robot troopers and uh, two pieces of a of a crystal puzzle. This is Wake Angel 2001 signing off.